Welcome to Kids 2 Grown-Ups Finance, where we make money and investing super easy to understand for all ages. Have you ever heard your parents or a news reporter talk about something called GDP? It sounds kind of boring, right? But what if I told you it's actually one of the most important numbers for a whole country? It's like a giant report card for a country's economy. GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product. That's a mouthful. So let's just remember the report card part. It's the total value of everything a country makes and sells in one year. I mean everything, like all the toys, video games, phones, and snacks made in the country, and all the services too, like your teacher teaching a class, the person who cuts your hair, or the movie you watch at the theater. So when the GDP number goes up, it's a good sign. It means the country is making more stuff and people are busy working, which is a sign of a healthy economy. When it goes down, it might mean the economy is slowing down and we need to pay closer attention. Now, there are two main types of GDP, and this is where it gets a little bit trickier, but we can handle it. Nominal GDP is the value of everything using today's prices. It's easy to calculate, but it can be a little deceiving. Real GDP is the value after we take out the effects of inflation, which is just a fancy word for prices going up over time. Think of it like this. Last year, you made 10 lemonade cups for a dollar each, so your lemonade GDP was $10. This year, you still made 10 cups, but you sold them for $2 each. Your nominal GDP would be $20, but you didn't actually make more lemonade. Your real GDP would be the same because you made the same amount of stuff. Real GDP is super important because it tells us if a country is actually producing more, not just if prices are higher. So how do we get this big number? We add up four main things. Consumer spending. This is all the money you and your family spend on things you buy. Business investment. This is the money companies spend to build new factories, buy new computers, or invent new things. Government spending. This is the money the government spends on things like building roads, paying teachers, and keeping our schools running. Net exports. This is a little tricky. It's the money we get from other countries buying our stuff, minus the money we spend on their stuff. We add all those up, and that gives us the big GDP number. It's that simple. GDP doesn't count happiness, clean air, or free work like your parents cooking dinner. So a high GDP doesn't always mean people are happy or healthy. And that's GDP, the big scorecard for a country's economy. Now the next time you hear grown-ups talking about GDP or see a reporter talk about it on the news, you'll know exactly what they mean. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss our fun finance lessons. And hey, share this with a friend so they can sound smart too. Thanks for watching Kids 2 Grown Ups Finance, where money isn't scary, it's fun. See you in the next adventure.